close that explosion.com. I want to discuss with you an interesting topic today. Many times when I tell my customers what kind of dresses I have, you know, where their dresses originate from, which retailers carry the brands that I sell, customers will say to me, oh, but I've seen dresses from that retailer, from that department store being sold at a lower price or at a higher price. So what I want to show you is that a retailer can carry many different types of dresses and many different, at, at many different price ranges. For instance, the two dresses that I'm going to show you right now are dresses that are carried by Macy's. And you'll be very surprised because you're going to see the difference. Here's a party dress by Arnhem Richards, which could also be a good office dress. And here's another dress, which is a party dress, a very short dress, which is also carried by Macy's. Now, you might be very surprised because this dress over here looks very luxurious. It's very fancy. You could just by looking at it, you could see the great quality. You could see the great design that went into its creation. And over here, this dress, if you ask me, it looks kind of simple. It's a short dress. It doesn't look of the same quality. But let me show you. This dress, you'll be surprised, is also a Macy's dress. This is overstock for Macy's. As a matter of fact, you could see the retail price was $59. While this dress doesn't have the tag on it, but if you look at it up online, it originally retails, I would say, around roughly around $120. Could be more, could be less, depending on the retailer. But I would say an average of about $120. So these are two dresses whose brands are both carried by Macy's. But as you can see, one dress is miles, miles ahead of the other dress. Now, if your customers want this type of a short dress, then it doesn't matter the quality or the brand. That's the dress that you need. And vice versa, even if your customers, let's say, prefer.